Stephen A. Cowboys looking pedestrian up there in Mile High. What happened? I'm so surprised. I'm so surprised. Man, I, you know, Donovan, you were you, you, you home. You were home because, you know, you came and you, you spent some time with us and what have you. We appreciate it. We had to go to Vegas. We had some things to handle. And I tried to educate my man, Max Kellerman. He listened to you. He got off Google. You understand? His, <laughs> ana his analysis was absolutely on point from a theoretical perspective. But there's a literal perspective to take into consideration, and it is this. What is the Dallas Cowboys without their running game? We don't know. I thought we were going to find out because what I kept saying was De Denver's weak running defense last year would not be the case this year. I thought they were going to load the box because they had confidence in their corners, in a Chris Harris, in a Nakeem Tlaib. Oh, you got your linebackers, the Brandon Marshalls and all the world and the crew, that they were going to be they were going to be confident they could handle their business from a pass defense perspective. As a result, they were going to load the box. They were going to be all up in it. Plus, you take an altitude in Denver. It was going to be too much for the Dallas Cowboys, and you were going to have a situation where they were going to force Dak Prescott to live up to all the hype that we've associated with him because he only threw four interceptions last year. I mean, my God, that's certainly going to be something that he could obviously, re, you know, duplicate. Ah, uh, pause for a second. It didn't happen. Two interceptions yesterday, relatively pedestrian performance, career-high 50 pass attempts, only threw for 238 yards, threw two interceptions, plus a pick six to end the game that keep the leap. But more importantly than that, Ezekiel Elliott. Nine carries, eight yards, career low in carries, career low, yo, low in yards. Couldn't do anything. I know Skandrick didn't play on the defensive side of the ball. I know there was a couple of corners that were novices. One dude only had like four practices, so Trevor Simeon was able to take advantage of him. But in the end, what it comes down to is this. Dallas's success is predicated on their running game. And if you can't run the damn football, you ain't going to do but so much. We still got to find out about that. Des Bryant dropping a bit too many passes. I told y'all this is a problem. Yeah, he had the touchdown. Hey, you, you, look at me. See that, Dallas? See that? Yeah. Where did it get you? 42-17. That's where it got you. Bottom line is, if you ain't running the football for Dallas, you don't facilitate time of possession, you don't have success on the offensive side of the ball, you put more pressure on your defense, which is ill-equipped to handle it, right. and Denver exposed that yesterday.